What is Ethereum and why is it everywhere in tech, finance and art? You've probably heard it mentioned alongside Bitcoin, but Ethereum is much more than just another cryptocurrency. Think of Ethereum as a global decentralized computer, a platform anyone can use to build and run applications. It's the foundation for a new kind of internet, one not controlled by a few corporations. Ethereum was created by Vitalik Buterin, who saw that blockchain could do more than just payments. He published the Ethereum White Paper in 2013, and by 2015, the network was live. Unlike a single device operating system, Ethereum runs on thousands of computers worldwide. No single person or company owns it, making it transparent and censorship resistant. Developers use Ethereum to build decentralized applications, or dApps, which are at the heart of its ecosystem. Ethereum is a programmable blockchain, a toolkit for creating new digital services, agreements and organizations. It's a playground for innovation, already showing us glimpses of a new internet. When people hear about Ethereum they often compare it to Bitcoin. Both use blockchain and have digital currencies, but their purposes are different. Bitcoin is digital gold, a secure decentralized store of value and payment system. Its strength is simplicity. It processes peer-to-peer -peer transactions and does it well. Ethereum, on the other hand, is like a smartphone compared to Bitcoin's calculator. Its blockchain can run code, not just track transactions. This programmability lets developers build all kinds of applications directly on the blockchain. Bitcoin is a settlement layer, Ethereum is a development platform. Ether ETH, is used as both a store of value and as gas to power these applications. If Bitcoin is the internet of money, Ethereum is the internet of value. This flexibility makes Ethereum the backbone of DeFi and NFTs, things Bitcoin can't do. Ethereum's real superpower is programmability, thanks to smart contracts. Think of a smart contract as a digital vending machine. Follow the rules and it automatically delivers the result. These are pieces of code on the blockchain that execute agreements when conditions are met. They're immutable and run exactly as programmed. No downtime, no fraud, no middlemen. For example, a smart contract can hold crowdfunding money and release it only if a goal is met. If not, it refunds everyone automatically. This trustless automation is the foundation for all decentralized applications, or dApps. Dapps run on smart contracts, not centralized servers, making them transparent and fair. The rules are open for everyone to see, and can't be changed on a whim. Smart contracts enable services owned and governed by users, not companies. So, what's being built with Ethereum? A lot, starting with decentralized finance, or DeFi. DeFi lets you lend, borrow, and trade assets directly with smart contracts, no banks or paperwork needed. It's a 24-7 financial system open to anyone. Then there are NFTs, unique digital tokens, representing art, collectibles, music, or tickets. Ownership is tracked on the blockchain, letting creators sell directly to fans and earn royalties automatically. In gaming, Ethereum lets players truly own in-game items as NFTs which can be traded or sold outside the game. This play-to-earn model rewards players for their time and skill. Beyond that, Ethereum powers DAOs, online organizations run by code and community votes. It's used for decentralized identity, supply chain tracking and more. Many projects are still experimental, but the potential to disrupt industries is huge. Ethereum is already reshaping how we think about ownership, value and collaboration. How does Ethereum stay secure and online? Like Bitcoin, it uses a blockchain, a digital ledger spread across thousands of computers. Transactions and smart contract actions are bundled into blocks, linked together to form a secure chain. For years, Ethereum used proof of work. Miners competed to solve puzzles and add blocks, earning ETH. This was secure but energy intensive and slow. To fix this, Ethereum transitioned to proof of stake. Now, validators lock up ETH as collateral to validate transactions and create new blocks. Honest validators earn rewards, Dishonest ones risk losing their stake. Proof of stake is over 99% more energy efficient and sets the stage for faster, cheaper transactions. This upgrade was a massive engineering feat, making Ethereum more sustainable. The new system paves the way for future growth and innovation. The move to proof of stake, known as the merge, is just the start of Ethereum's next chapter. The roadmap includes upgrades for scalability, security, and sustainability. 
The big focus now is sharding, splitting the network into parallel chains to process thousands of transactions per second. This will make Ethereum as fast as major payment processors but decentralized. A fully scaled Ethereum could power a new web, Web3, where users own their data and digital identity. Imagine social platforms, where you control your content and get rewarded for it. Financial services could be open to anyone, anywhere, without banks. There are still challenges, complexity, user experience and regulation. But Ethereum's developer community is tackling these issues, driving a global ecosystem. Whether it achieves its full vision or not, Ethereum is already changing what's possible online.